Welcome back, everybody. Since <laughs> uh, we are now in Area 6. We are in Area 6 within uh, the World 3 server. Now let's, let's dig in deeper and uh, find their base. <laughs> Uh, thing for note here. This is uh, this is an area that has a rematch battle. All right, uh, this area has a rematch battle. That battle being a white man. We'll get to him a little later. <laughs> we'll get to him soon. What you want to do is just. I want to make sure I'm able to sweep the area for its goodies. Right before we go out to fight a white man. As well as. As well as uh, well, gain up some money. Some sweet, sweet money. Okay, I went right back. Did I just do a full-on U-turn? I think I did a full-on U-turn. <laughs> this map fucking sucks. <laughs> all right, well, all the maps in all the maps in Mega Man One, uh, Bell Network, Network One really do suck. This was right before they thought of cohesion. They, Best Bud didn't think, oh, we're going to get an our game and we're going to improve all of this. Yeah, Best Bud, they didn't. Okay, so right in this corner, it lies a light man. So I'm going to save real quick. That done? Let's tell this. Light man is the exact same battle. Ooh, aren't we lucky today? Here's the thing that you absorbed the first time. Run back at you. A little faster this time around. He's going exact he's gonna act the exact same way, minus the healing. Uh, yeah, that, this will be fastest. Woo! He can't heal himself apparently. <laughs> There we go. Electman is one of the easiest bosses because his pattern is very recognizable. Now let's talk about Electman's ship as a whole. Electman, just like uh, Skullman, owns a ship that homes on a specific target and inflicts solid damage. What am I saying? Get three, uh, three elect, uh, Electman. Threes, or five of them, and fight Sharkman. Sharkman just essentially gets neutered. Now I get a G. Ugh. But yeah, he, it's very easy fight all in all. That G might actually come in handy. We got a thousand days there. And uh, we are done with this area. Let me just head over here because we've seen this earlier. 6,000. So fucking close. So very, very close. Uh, is there anything I want to do? Is there anything that I need to do with chips? I don't think I need. I actually need to add a few fires. But <clears throat> entrance for World 3 personnel only. Megman, try using memo we got from Miss Yuri. Roger. Megman used the Yuri memo. He gained access. <laughs> Way to go. Yeah, it's better that you handle everything now. I don't think there's a stipulation with this area. We just have to be a little bit more cautious. Chips might, uh, viruses might have gotten uh, slightly stronger, but it's good to keep on your toes no matter what. I need to get hit to get the chip that I want. Ugh, bummer. Okay, uh, what's it over here? Huh. I'm starting to realize that some chips take priority when you do certain uh, rankings on them. <laughs> yeah. Still not getting the chip drops I want because I actually do want to show off every advance in the game. Oh, wait, we can't cut this out yet. We run into a new enemy. This is a... Uh, this is Ghost Thief 3. It, it's essentially the same type of ghost. 
Right, 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 right. I'm not paying attention. Ugh. It's the same ghosty, but white, faster, and stronger. As well as holding, I think, a recovery 200 on it. For, God, for some godforsaken reason. <laughs> but that's how you get most healing chips in the game. Why are there sorties in this area, too? Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. I, I shouldn't be noticing this. I shouldn't be noticing this. <laughs> but I am. Not happy about it, but I am. Alright. Head through this area. Straight over here. At least with them being faster, I'm a little, my uh, my reaction time is a little better at least. Entrance for World Three personnel only. Megman, try the metal we got from the old man. Okay. Megman used the used pause memo. He gained access. All right. And this is the last area of two World Three. And um, yeah, modifications are in tow. Give me one second. Not my favorite combination, but it still works at least. I disturbed a great balance by doing this. More Zenny! Huh, there's a platform over here, so this area is a dead end. Okay. Well, obviously it's a dead end. I need to go the airway first. Why is all why are most of the healing chips under G? Answer me that! <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But since we're finally here, I wonder if this is going to be the final nail in World 3's coffin. Who am I, Kane? I already spoiled it for you guys. There's like two more bosses after this. <laughs> so we're not done. <laughs> By God, are we there? Oh, that's 10,000. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I have enough for that uh, HP memory now. I have a lot of money. We still don't. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm trying to get Gaia Q. Yeah, a Gaia Q, because it it's part of a advance that I've never been able to actually put together. Ah. Here's a little spoiler to what my deck actually entails. We put together Little Bomb, Cross Bomb, and Big Bomb all together. It creates the simple advance of Beta Bomb. By doing this, we have a lot of bombs at our disposal. A lot of it. We have six shots and all of them do a decent amount of damage, scaling from uh, 60, 70 to 80 damage per throw. Yeah, again, if a boss does not move or it is pinned down, this this advantage is actually relatively fucking good. My bad, it's 50, 70, 90, respectively. But either way, it does like a lot of fucking damage if you're able to stack up the numbers quick enough. And before we do this, we are going to fucking save. How do you get in here? And who are you? I'm Mega Man. And what brings you to me, the Great Bomb Man? I'm here to get the World 3's net address. I know you you got it, so hand it over. <laughs> no, 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 no. That won't do. It's deletion for you. Mega Man, this guy isn't too bright. I don't think we have a choice. Battle team set. <sighs> Execute. Well, there goes a simple and easy option. Here is Bomb Man. Yeah, uh, I'm kind of surprised as all of you when I've seen him because this isn't Bomb Man that we're used to. Bomb Man will set down bombs in a grid and it'll explode in that fashion. If you ever played uh, Bomber Man, he plays the exact same way. 
we're going to use Flame Tower here. He is not weak to fire. He is a, a neutral attribute Navi. What I'm actually trying to do is, I'm trying to trigger the bombs and have them all go off in front of him because you see the amount of damage it is actually able to inflict on him. Um, but these come with a slight, kind of little, tiny, tiny little caveat. They... You can't use Fireman. You can't use Fireman for this fight specifically. You can't use Fireman specifically for this fight, just due to the fact that he stops time for... He doesn't stop... Bleh, whoever. It's a time stop skill. So, when he attacks, it, the bomb isn't counted, uh, counted as active. So, you're... You had to do this good old-fashioned way to figure out, oh, wait, bombs are naturally weak to blank and blank and such and such. It's a battle where you actually had to keep a little head and keep up the combat with him. He's invincible too. Why did I do that? I'm a twit. <laughs> Might as well just use the fucking pea shooter. Let's see what that. Not my best take against Bomb Man. Still got two, but I still showed off the little trick that you can do by making an all fire deck. And with that, we get 4,000 zenny. But, but, Bomb Man is never defeated. When I got the World 3 address. Then let's use it to break into the World 3 network. Fool, they don't call me Bomb Man for nothing. Net Bomb program activated. Huh? Uh, Mega Man? You okay? Yeah, but... Uh, the net's been closed off. Damn. We're so close. I'm sure we can use this address somehow. Okay, right. Let's talk to Dad. Okay, we can easily go and talk to Dad about this, or we can... You know, backtrack to the shop. Which is what I'm totally going to do. Okay, and we're back. After we buy next memory, I'll explain my reason for using Fire Tower. All the... three chips... three chip types that you can use against Bomb Man. Admittedly, Fire Tower is the best one because Body Burn is only around you in a cross. So if there are any bombs right in front of the divider, then yeah, it's useful. But what happens if it's not? Well, heater could work. Heater is a fire variation of Big Bomb. But comes with the caveat of Oh, fuck you. It comes with the caveat of not exactly having the best hit radius to trigger off all those bombs. Fireman's Burrow on uses because of the time stop uh, mechanic. It, it becomes a cavalcade of here's a boss strategy. If, you're, if you know how bombs work, you're totally able to abuse it. If you don't, you're kind of boned. So we're going out to a government complex, but yeah, that's that's essentially what I want to get off my ch uh, my chest. It is that kind of factor of oh, okay, I'm able to use this to make it blow up in his face, not exactly taking to a point of should I? Because it doesn't affect me. I'm just wasting space for two chips that became 
one came in really good to explain everything, and one didn't go out the best because Fire Tower works with how you move. Unlike Radon, which turns automatically towards an enemy. Either way, we're up in Dad's um, office, and let's yeah, let's chat with him about World Three. Oh, Lan. Hey, Dad. You got a minute? Of course. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, I've been away for so much. So, how are you? Did you talk to Show? Talk to that jerk? Hmm? Do you have a fight? He can be hard to deal with. Well. Anyway, and check this out. Lanny is the world at World 3. Man, where do you get this? I got it with Mega Man. But we can't get through the network. I see. Well, with this, I'm sure we we can find the World 3 Labs. Are you sure? Sure. Sure should be no problem using our technology here. This may help us stop the war. Of course. I'll have to tell Show about this. That's okay. Um, I guess. Can you tell me the location too? No. Why not? I'm the one who defeated World 3, and with the Mega Man program that you created. Please, let us finish the job. Lan. Finish the job. Okay, okay, I give, but on one condition. Bro 3 attacks will likely start coming even harder. That man could be deleted, and your actions could trigger that war. Can you take responsibility? Can you take that responsibility? For all we've been through, through the amount of hell that Bro 3 has put us in, even though minor in some cases, Major and others. Are we able to take responsibility of possibly trigger uh, triggering a war? Fuck them. I'll take the responsibility. Okay. I'll send you the location when we find it. Thanks, Dad. I'll send you mail with the location. Go practice. Go practice nap battling. Okay. Go practice nap battling. Makes a lot of sense. Where are we going? Kind of simple now. We are at Scilab. I fucked up immediately. <laughs> we are at Scilab. We are at the portal line location of the easiest place to jack into the internet. That being through Dad's terminal. Because we can easily. Start off through, through three. Get off, get a, uh, start three and immediately head off to nine. Nine intersects, and we can either go into ten or we go through ten and twelve. Or go through three, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Well, if I check my map correctly, ten has a shop. No, wait, we already went to that shop. We already cleared that one out. 12 has a shop. With a lot of good goodies. As well as on our way to that, we can also fight Bomb Man again. So those fire uh, f flame towers are going to be staying in my deck for a little bit longer. So let's jack in and head into. Uh, let's head back into the end of that, shall we? We'll cut right when we get to. Uh, Area 10. God fucking damn it, I keep on doing this. That's not the terminal. It's legitimately this one over here. Okay, we are now in level 10, which I showed you all in a uh, few parts back. So, by following this specific pattern, we'll do. Essentially, okay, so we're back here, obviously. There is something I did not tell you all. Since we are actually fully in the internet, just like when we went through World 3 servers, 
the doors here have a lockdown policy. This area is essentially locked down. The reason why it's locked down is just to prevent weaker, well, weaker navvies from getting injured. Right across from the shop is a door. And that door specifically leads to internet 13, 14, 15, 16 respectively. One after another. Okay. That's not where we, where we want to go. We want to go up higher. To head into 11 and 12. So. What? So. The reason... Well... The way the area is limiting us is by, well, not using an uh, yeah, not using an escape ship in this area. You, we can't use escape in this area. By the way, I have level sixty-seven now. <laughs> Since I do not run escape in my uh, deck, that is an error. This is essentially null and void. So by heading to the store and clicking on it, checking your bravery level. The bravery level satisfactory. You may pass. With that, both sides of this area are now open to us. So next time on Mega Man Battle Network, we'll be going deeper into the internet, finding that shop, giving giving them my sweet, sweet, sweet money, and setting off to find out where the hell World Three is. I hope to see you all done.